خانم ها آقایان اصل شما بخیر بسیار ممنونم از اینکه اینجا آمدید حرفای من رو بشنوید Good evening ladies and gentlemen I want to thank each and every one of you for having come here to listen to me از کلی افرادی که در برپایی این جلسه زحمت کشیدن سپاسگزارم I also want to thank the organizers of this meeting خیلی خوشحالم که برای بار دوم اینجا صحبت میکنم بار اول برای معرفی خاطراتم ایران اوکنینگ اینجا بودم I'm very glad that I, this is the second time that I'm speaking at this institute. The first time that I was here was to introduce my first book, Iran Awakening. Through my life story, I wanted to... Um, Uh, introduce Iran to the people of the world. And I'm glad to introduce my second book to you entitled The Golden Cage. In this book is a part of the history of the 32 years of Iran, the 32 years of the Iran, از خلال سرگذشت واقعی یک خانواده بیان میکنه. Parts of the uh, last 32 years of the history of Iran uh, uh, is um, narrated in this story through the true story of a family. انگیزه من در نوشتن این کتاب جمله معروفی است که در اول کتاب هم نوشتم و این جمله نقل قولی است از جامعه شناس ایرانی دکتر علی شریعتی که میگوید اگر نمی توانی ظلم را سرنگون کنی لاغر اون رو بازگو کن My motive in this book was a, a, sen, a phrase that I have quoted at the beginning of my book from Dr. Ali Shariati, an Iranian sociologist who says if you cannot eliminate injustice at least talk about it But, uh, قسمتی از تاریخ سی و دو ساله ایران در این کتاب که با خواندن این شما می توانید به علت نارضایی مردم امروز در ایران بفهمید. Those parts of the uh, last 32 years history of Iran that are depicted and narrated in this book will help you understand uh, what the people of Iran want today, what their demands are. And in what situation is Iran today? من سعی می کنم وضعیت ایران رو به صورت بسیار خلاصه به شما معرفی کنم. In brief I'm going to use a few statistics uh, to tell you about the situation of Iran. طبق گزارش سازمان گزارشگران بدون مرز بیش از چهل ژورنالیست و وبنگار در زندان هستند. Pursuant to a report of Reporters Without Borders, over 40 journalists and weblog writers are in prison now. And Iran is the last on, uh, among the 173 countries when it comes to respect for freedom of speech. Pursuant to a report of amnesty, during the past 12 months, over 300 people have been executed in Iran. Some of them were political prisoners. زندانیان سیاسی رو که ادام میکنن متاسفانه حتی جسدشون رو به خانواده ها تحویل نمیدن و اونها رو مخفیانه دفن میکنن. When political prisoners are executed, unfortunately, their bodies are not even given to their families. They are 
uh, buried without uh, knowing where in, in hiding. Iran, بعد از چین دومین بیشترین تعداد ادام رو در جهان داره. After China, Iran has the most number of executions in the world. Iran بیشترین تعداد اعدام مجرمین کمتر از 18 سال رو در جهان داره. Iran has the most number of Uh, underage criminals in the world, the most number of executions of underage criminals in the world. طبق قانونی که بعد از انقلاب 1979 به تصویب رسید، سن مسئولیت کیفری در ایران خیلی پایین آمده. Pursuant to a law that passed after the revolution of 1979, the age of criminal responsibility had been, has been reduced. این سن در دختر نو و برای پسر پانزده ساله. This age is nine, year, nine years for girls and 15 years for boys. یعنی اگر یک دختر ده ساله یا پسر شانزده ساله مرتکب جرم بشن قانون اونها رو به همان شدت مجازات میکنه که اگر یه آدم چهل ساله مرتکب شده بود. This means that if a 10 year old girl or a 16 year old boy commit a crime Uh, the law will punish them as if a 40-year-old had committed that crime. And this is why, unfortunately, execution, execution of underage, under the age of 18, criminals exists in Iran. رشد اقتصادی ایران صفر و تورم 22 درصد بوده. Pursuant to a report of the International Monetary Fund, uh, the economic growth of Iran in 2010 has been zero and the rate of inflation has been 22%. آمار بیکاری در ایران خیلی بالاست و طبق گزارش کارشناسان اقتصادی بیش از سی درصده. Uh, the rate of unemployment in, in Iran is very high and pursuant to the report of the economic expert, experts it's over 30%. این آمارها نشون میده که وضعیت ایران رو به وخامته. These statistics prove that the situation in Iran is deteriorating. و علاوه بر این نقض گسترده و مستمر حقوق بشر هم به این مسئله کمک میکنه. And in addition to that the continuous violation of human rights helps it as well. از جمله ما در ایران تبعیض بر اساس جنسیت داریم. Uh, for example in Iran we have discrimination on the basis of gender. طبق قانونی که بعد از انقلاب به تصویب رسید ارزش جان زن نیمی از ارزش جان مرده یعنی اگر من و برادرم با هم بریم خیابون و کسی به ما حمله بکنه زخمی بشیم یا با تصادف اتومبیل داشته باشیم خسارتی که به برادرم میدن دو برابر چیزی است که به من تعلق میده Pursuant to a law that was passed after the revolution the life of a woman is worth half of that of a man This means that if I, me, and myself and my brother go on the street and we are attacked by someone or something happens on the street, the compensation paid to my brother would be twice as much as the compensation paid to me. Excuse me, this light is right in my eye and I can't, I can't look, maybe, maybe right here. Okay, no, same thing. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Can't keep my eyes open. Okay. I'm sorry. طبق قانون شهادت دو زن معادل با شهادت یک مرد در دادگاه. Pursuant to the laws, the testimony of two women in court equal testimony of one.